Hello everyone and welcome back to another Kerbal Space program video. 10% sus, ten, oh, uh, there you go. That's it. We get 10% of everything. That's all we got. Blah, blah, blah. Moving on. We're gonna die. So sadly, this Moonlander is cursed. It is cursed. Everything's cursed. It looks like these fins wanted to work, but as soon as we got into the thicker atmosphere, they really didn't. They just freaking didn't. Maybe if I... Uh, oh, I don't know. Now here's the thing: a lot of a lot of everybody has been asking me to download a mod called Body Lift, or I'll have to look it up again. But it calculates the body lift with the fins or wings. So it's very possible, very possible that the fact that I have a whole bunch of structures back here generates just enough lift to bring the center of lift past the dry center of mass just enough to really screw this up because once it got into thick atmosphere it was nose diving last time which really 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 sucks because it just looks so good <laughs> i mean uh, could could uh, i mean i could good i just i don't know it just looks it just looks so ugly i don't like it i don't like it okay now hear me out it i know it looks like a space screwdriver or a small little shovel but <laughs> so did the ranger and interstellar okay the ranger and the interstellar kind of had like this duck bill looking design right although many of us who liked Interstellar but thought some of the ship's designs were crap, still believe that the Ranger is your space high heel shoe. I mean, it even looks like one. And I could go on for hours about how aerodynamically inefficient both of the shuttles were. But anyway, now notice I only said some of them. Not all of them, some of them. I could, I could literally make an entire movie about where they went wrong with some of the spacecraft. But I digress. Moving on. You know, I just realized something. We didn't have parachutes on the first stage anyway that, uh, it would have died any damn way. Well, uh, we are pushing the edge of the envelope when it comes to mass. I don't know. <sighs> nope, that went over. Golly. Well, can I take some off? Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Ended up having to take more fuel out of the rocket. Okay, we cannot put on any more chutes. Luckily though, what I've got going on here is a fuel tank that I will unlock before re-entry. That'll give us about 200 meters per second delta V. I'm hoping that'll be enough to slow us down just enough so that if we hit ground or anything, we'll be okay. Hopefully. Fix the fin situation. I'm going to make the gravity turn a little sooner. Hopefully we won't burn up our landing gears. We've got a hell of a lot more power now with more batteries. And during coast phase, We'll just turn everything off. All right, everyone. This has got to make it. If not, then we're just going to have to go back to the grind because we're going to be out of money in three, two, one, launch. Okay, we're just about in orbit with that first stage. Yeah, that, that was beautiful. Let's separate. This, this gives me 10 minutes before I have to worry about it falling out of orbit. Go back over and see if this thing comes back down in one piece. I'm going to unlock the gas tank on this side, which now gives us about 600 delta V. I don't know. I could probably turn this in, turn this into an SSTO again. Pretty damn close. Ha! Huh. I think we might have to switch back over here. Yeah, it's running out of time. Hold on. Wait, why can't I? Mm. Oh no! Oh, thank goodness. Th oh, the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? The fuck is that? What the, f what the fuck is that? Oh, okay, okay. I think I know what that was. That second ship. That was the uh, the the cursed <laughs> the cursed first stage. All right. We're, oh, we're already in orbit. What am I doing? I can't click on this. I think it's because of the fact that my building isn't upgraded yet. So I have to actually go back to the space center. 
Yada, 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 yada. That's got to be the first stage. Ha, 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 ha. Look at that. Well, it's going to die anyway because it was the one that didn't have any parachutes. So there you go. How in the hell is it still in orbit? Anybody's guess. And here we go. I'll be damned. It works, but if, if it doesn't give you some serious anxiety inducing, just ah, but it works beautifully. Wow, I'll be damned. All right, I don't know where we are. Are we anywhere near? No, we are not. So we're gonna get a good 50%, 50% reduction in price and getting it back. Where the fuck you come from? What the shit? What the? What in the ass? I tell you, the magical Kerbin seaweed is just something else. Okay, so we got about 18,000 funds back from that. Yeah, close to 58% value discounted. Now, what about this other one? What does that look like? Why hasn't it burnt up yet? Here it goes, there it goes, there it goes, and I guess there it goes. Well, if we go ahead and click on fly, I'm sure we'll go right into the burn up. It's just KSP. It doesn't calculate that. Uh, I guess if you're above a certain meters, it just kind of keeps on orbiting. doesn't calculate the atmosphere. And here we go. 32. Wop there. Boom. Yep. That, yep. That was violent. No parachutes for you, buddy. Oh, yeah. This ought to be good. We have no SAS capability. I'm going to see if I can't save some of it, but I don't think so. Oh, she's coming in hard. Here we go. Ow. What? <laughs> okay. How much for the pile of rocket scrap? Recover. Huh? We got $11,000 back from it. Nice. 59% value. Yeah, that's okay. Well, hey, shit. We're backed up to 100. It's not bad. Okay. Let's try this again, shall we? We're going to the moon after we fix our crooked as fuck orbit. Jeez. A few videos ago I asked everybody if it was okay for me to hit Alt F12 and look at the biomes data because if you hit Alt F12 you can go ahead and click on uh, see biomes and it'll actually show up on the planet. A lot of people said it was cheaty but a, a lot more said it wasn't so I'm gonna guess it's probably be a 50-50 and the fact that it's so close together means that if I do it I'm damned if I don't I'm damned so <laughs> it's 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 there's no win for me however i did like some of some of the suggestions were to uh put a fake satellite in orbit and then okay now i can use alt f12 and pretend it's some sort of satcom whatever remember we don't have solar panels therefore the satellite would die after a while the other idea i have is to just go on the internet and look at a map it would still be hard because of the simple fact that i don't exactly know where the biomes are 
I'm just going by a map that may or may not be the correct one or be high definition enough to really pinpoint any accuracy whatsoever. There's that idea. I might put out a poll in the uh, community. Man, I haven't used that in a long time, YouTube community posts. I might just end up doing that and see what's up. All right, let's go ahead and land this thing. I'm running out of time. We've only ever landed once on this moon, so basically we could literally land every anywhere, anywhere. We don't even have to really choose. We could land anywhere and get new science. So long as we don't land here, we're good. You know what? There's this crater right here coming up. Okay, and we got lots of Delta V. Let's just go ahead and wing it. Twink. Ooh, uh, ah. One of the better landings for sure. Holy crap. All right, we don't have time. Let's go ahead, get some science. Science, 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 science. Shit out of it. Okay, so I would do another material studies bay and a goo observation bay. The problem is we only have the two modules so we can place these experiments in because you cannot put a, an experiment that says the same thing in the same module. It overwrites it. So we're just going to have to deal with what we got and then whatever future we come back, we can gather that little piece up. Now I will try to go over here because I know this has got to be a different biome. So here we go. I've only got 1200 meters per second delta V. So if if it looks like we're burning below that, I'm not going to do it. Not going to risk it. I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it, but we're already going the wrong direction, so we don't have much of a choice. It's too bad. I would love to sit down and, and actually enjoy this a little bit more, but I'm just about out of time, so I need to go ahead and wrap this up. Actually, no, I am out of time. Damn it. Well, I guess they get to stay here and play for a little while. How's our electricity looking, though? Eh, it's better than our fuel. 700 meters per second. I don't know. Yeah, 700 meters per second. Can we... Oh, uh, can we get back to Kerbin with only 700 meters per second? I think I might have fucked up. Oh, man, I might have fucked up, guys. Anyway, I'm going to have to leave this as a cliffhanger because I'm all out of time. Damn, I don't think we got it, people. 700 meters per second. I don't think we have it. It would have to be... It would have to be so close. No room for error at all. Damn. If you liked this video, please leave a like. If you loved it, consider subscribing. We also have a membership program. If you become a member, get cool little emojis and badges and stuff next to your name. Pretty cool. Check it out. And of course, the, the bell notification. But I don't know. I've always gone for like the rule of thumb to be about at least 1,800 max. But seven? Seven? Ugh, we could we could we could get back into the moon's orbit, but still seven? I don't know.
We might need a rescue. We might need a rescue. It would probably be just be better for us to just stay right there and have another ship land next to it. <laughs> because, holy crap. Oh, look, guys. Our new lunar base. There we go. Isn't it nice? <laughs> Fuck. All right. Well, uh, I'll see you all later. Love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Lunar base, huh? Our first lunar base. It's like, Grandpa, why is it called the Lunar Lander 4? Don't ask stupid questions. Damn. Oh, man. Did I involuntarily make a damn lunar base? Well, it wouldn't be really a base. Would it be more like an outpost, but still. Fuck.